What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 25 Ultimate Team gameplay. We are in week three in our new season. So uh, hopefully we could uh, keep up our clean streak that we got going on. We uh, won all of the games in the previous season, including the, the Super Bowl. So that's, what, 13 games straight? I believe it's uh, 10 games in the regular season, divisional round, conference championship, and then... Super Bowl, so yeah, 13, 14, so we're on like a 15 game win streak right now, uh, right here, I wish, I, I should have did the double juke towards the inside, which would would have been better, uh, here we go, man, just continuing to run the ball on the ground, um, that's the only way you can run, right, not like I can run through the air, but you guys know what I mean, uh, ever since I got the Jamal Charles, I've just been running like a maniac, he's somebody very, very good, right there, we throw it up top, and ladies and gentlemen, we are living like Larry, there we go, throw it to my main man, Larry Fish, Gerald, and uh, towards the back of the end zone, and we come down with the reception, giving, up, giving us a touchdown. So uh, now I decide to go on ahead and take a look at my opponent's team, and uh, for like the last, I don't know, four or five games or so, uh, I've been going up against guys who skill level I wouldn't even say is around mine. Well, not skill level, excuse me, overall wise I should say. Uh, you know, I have a 99. This guy probably has like a 94, 95 tops or something like that. So, I uh, definitely feel like I have the advantage right here. Oh, that hurts. You wish you could have that one back. Uh, Joe Hayden was definitely beat right there by uh, Percy Harvin. But Cam Newton overthrew it. And that's what you got to deal with when you got a lot of um, these high throw power quarterbacks. Cam Newton, Kaepernick, you know, Mike Vick. Uh, right here, he just quits. Doesn't even attempt the fourth down. I would at least, like, if I knew I was going to quit, I would at least try the fourth down. You never knew. Maybe you got the first. I don't know. He just quit right then and there. So, that right there gives us a victory. So, now we move on to week four. And uh, this right here was definitely a better matchup, uh, you know, both skill-wise and team overall-wise. Now, what what is uh, crazy is that I actually matched up against the same guy uh, probably... A week ago, a couple days ago. So you will see me rematch him probably sometime next week. So we take a look at my opponent's roster. And I notice he's got, you know, 99 Cam, 99 Barry Sanders, 99 Allstad, Rice, Gordon, Fitzgerald, Sharp. 99's everywhere. So he's probably a 99 overall team, 98 at minimum. But he's, he's definitely got himself a squad. You know what I mean? He's got good players everywhere. And he's got a, you know, unique scheme that uh, he runs with a uh, single back bunch. And a uh, lot of, uh, lot of you know, plays that frustrated me coming out of here. And what's frustrating the most is that he no-huddled constantly. That That's what makes it even more frustrating, is the fact that, you know, he's got all these plays to his arsenal. You see he's got the toss, he's got HB dive, he's got, I think, like a wide trail. Right there, we drop an interception from uh, Tim Jennings over there on the left. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's definitely frustrating when it's constant. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Especially from the exact same formation. So I have no idea what's coming. But Sean Taylor knows what's coming, though. No, of you. Give it to me, baby. Huge interception from the best defensive player in Mutz. Okay, what you guys tell me. There's there's no better player than Sean Taylor that I've used. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I got I got to go with 96 uh a keep to leave. He, he he went over Madden 25 JJ Watt. If you guys watched my live stream yesterday, I purchased three a keep to leaves. I'm not a big fan of dupes, but it's just fun getting three to leaves in and uh, coming out in diamond court and pressing. He has the highest press in the game at 98. Um, Patrick Peterson with the boost gives him a hundred press when Patrick Peterson is on the field. So uh, I you know I've just. Stay with him and literally just jam you at the line like all game. 6'1", 94 speed, 98 press. Such a monster. Uh, nah, I would definitely go uh, Sean Taylor, J.J. Watt. Tlaib, though, has become my favorite cornerback, though, just for the pressing ability. You know, um, I use him in passing situations. You know, he's not like Charles Woodson has like a 75 block shed or something like that, 95 man. Overall, he's a better cornerback. But when it comes to passing, um, you throw Tlaib out there, like in third and fourth situations where you can pretty much expect to pass. You press, and he will just have you stuck at that line of scrimmage. And eventually, my main man, J.J. Watt, will break through. So, um, but anyways, long story about Tlaib. I'm just, you know, that started with me saying, 
Sean Taylor, to me, is the best defensive player in this game. Right, we got him to a fourth and inches. Again, constant no huddle, so I don't know what. I want to run commit down, but what if it's a toss? You know what I mean? Then I would probably give up a touchdown. So, uh, so many just quick plays at his arsenal. And uh, right now, I'm just trying my best to, uh, you know, remember everything. Right there, pay attention to that. Man, really quickly, he likes to go to a quick drag to the uh, tight end out of that formation and uh, when he's passing the ball. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind. And, again, he's just, uh, besides that one mistake to Sean Taylor, he's doing a pretty good job of being able to move the ball up and down the field on me. Uh, we force um, a fourth down right here, third down, excuse me, and uh, he goes to the toss play, which he ends up scoring on. So uh, I do get ball at halftime. So I do have, you know, 40 seconds remaining to try to get uh, in at least field goal range, you know, try and put up another score before I get the ball back at halftime. And that right there would be big, you know, because uh, that is a potential for a multiple possession lead. So we back up and we hit him with the skinny. We find my main man, Momo, right over the middle. We're about a first down away from reaching uh, first down, and that's exact uh, field goal range. I should say that's exactly what we accomplished right there. Again, we go to Larry Fitzgerald on the man-to-man uh, -man route and man-to-man uh, -man beater the out route. Then we just settle for our field goal, and right now we have an opportunity to hopefully score a touchdown, go up ten to seven. Because I'm not really sure if I trust my defense against this offense. You know, what I mean? it's just frustrating when you're dealing with the exact same formation. You know what I mean? So there's. There's just so many plays he can run out of there, and I don't know what's coming at any given time. You know what I mean? So uh, that's what makes it uh, uh, tough. Uh, you know, and again, the no huddle just adds on to it. You know what I mean? So uh, I would definitely love a two possession lead right here. Try to go to the screen, but that guy hits before I could deliver the ball to its destination. Second and ten, we go to the side, and my main man, Lil Largent, drops the ball. Third down and ten, just quick out route thing. Oh, look at look at Fitzgerald though, just rumbling, bubbling, stumbling all the way to um to plus territory right there. Uh, still trying to run the ball, you know. Uh, right here, we're definitely trying to uh, consume as much time as possible. You know, if we could uh, go up two possessions as well as you know kill a lot of clock, that right there would definitely be tremendous. We pick up the first down right there which allows us to be able to, you know, continue to keep the ball on the ground, kill some more clock. We bring it all the way down to the fourth quarter. Uh, we back. A was wide open. I have no idea why I didn't throw it. Third and 17, this right here happened extremely. Fr you want to talk about frustrations, right? Look, look at that. Look at that, man. We throw an interception. Oh, man. So now he has a chance to tie the game or take the lead. And, uh, again, he's got this heavy, high-octane, you know, fast-paced offense. Second and eight right. Oh, oh, look at the bait. Don't. Test the user. He is so disrespectful. I knew if it was a pass, he was going to be looking for that quick tight end drag. And we went towards the inside in case it was a run. I noticed it was a pass. Came back to the outside and snagged the pick. In the very next play, Sean Taylor's like, what are the stuff? Just nothing. I'm still hungry, baby. I need another helping. And then he ends up quitting. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, your boys, yes, man, you guys already know, love each and every single one of you guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the multitude of uh, of uh, content and streaming. Give it to me, baby.